blind on myself. <laughs> What's going on guys? Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Still working on Eugene's computer and we got some progress. We're talking Wii modes today. So again, my objective, like my goal is to like just keep one-upping myself. So on this build for Eugene, he didn't ask for it, but I did my research on it. And basically we are gonna be doing Wiimote shooter games. So basically any game that has a handgun to it, I am programming all those games to work with the Wiimote. I've seen a lot of people, you know, with cabinets and they have the aim track guns, but I'm a big fan of wireless stuff. So I didn't want to get aim tracks, not to mention that they are expensive. I think they're like 150 bucks a gun. USB wire with like a seven foot USB wire coming out of your cabinet. I wasn't a fan of that idea. So I did a lot of research and basically I'm testing out this Wii mode as a handgun kind of setup. And so far for the most of it, I actually got it to work. Now with this, I do have, I'm going to talk about in another video about MAME, MAM Arcade. Um, my MAM Arcade, originally on my old drives, like I only had about like 2,000 games or ROMs, I should say. And basically, I, I, I discovered something very big. Um, apparently, some of the games, not all of them, some of the games didn't run because how I set up my MAM Arcade was that I only used like the parent ROMs. I actually sat down and like separated all of them to like the specific ones. And it turned out some of the games, like trackball games, like Golden Tee, and I think like even some shooting games like Carnival, um, didn't work. So what I'm doing for Eugene right now, what I'm gonna be doing for all my future builds is that I'm gonna be giving everybody all the MAM ROMs. You're talking 9,000 ROMs, no BS. Later on, we'll take a look at the MAM kind of setup. But I put all the MAM stuff in it, so now MAM is good to go, and that works. I never realized it. But once I actually got into like gun games, I noticed that maybe like three or four files were missing. Now with this kind of handgun remote Wiimote thing, I'm looking to play MAM Arcade, obviously anything with a gun to it. I haven't tested this with the Dolphin, meaning the Dolphin emulator, meaning um, the actual Wii, like if this Wiimote could work because the Wii I got on Amazon, this is like an aftermarket, um, it's not a real Nintendo one, came with a nunchuck. And I think, you know, with that, there's a plus and minus to everything. Um, these are cheap. I got these for about, I think it was like 40 bucks. It was the Wiimote and the nunchuck. So the objective with this Wiimote is to be number one, wireless. You do need a sensor bar. That's what I learned the hard way. Um, the computer has built in Bluetooth already. Um, so I didn't need the Mayflash bars. And so far this is working. So I do have a sensor bar up top. It is a cheap, like $8 Amazon sensor bar. It is not the Mayflash bar. So keep that in mind for this build. So now again with this, and it's trying to connect, <laughs> with this I'm trying to play again any games with handguns in it, um, MAM Arcade, I even got like the Sega Model 2 which is running House of the Dead, that's number one. I even have some PC games such as House of the Dead 2 and 3. And now the biggest kind of headache, it's a pain in the ass but I'm getting it, is Techno Parrot. And we have House of the Dead 4, I got Luigi's Mansion to work with this, I'm blowing my own mind though, so it's, it's insane on this build. So real quick, I got a selfie mode. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. So again, this is his desktop. Check it out also, I did some artwork. So look at his kind of desktop when we do launch everything. I mean, he's gonna be greeted with that. I did all the artwork. The cabinet artwork is later on. I'm doing all again software stuff. I'm working on this first. This is the main component. Once I get this perfect, we get into buying the cabinet. So just real quick, you can check out his artwork that I did. Basically, again, with this computer, it has its own built-in Bluetooth antenna. So the Wiimote is recognized as a mouse. And that honestly took me a week just to figure this whole thing out. But we are using software called Touchmote. Uh, basically, Touchmote makes the Wiimote um, appear as a mouse cursor. It thinks that it's a mouse. So I have this set to start in... Where is it? There it is. So basically it makes the Wiimote look like the mouse cursor. There is no Wiimote connected right now because I have it kind of off. Um, this Wiimote again is not a real Nintendo Wiimote. This is an aftermarket one. And with that, there are some pluses and minuses, but basically I'm gonna put the battery in and I'm gonna put the power button. One more time. And as you can see, it connected. So it literally says, 
one Wemo connected. And now depending on where I stand, you might not see it on the camera because of the white background, but you can kind of see like my dashboard is moving uh, at the bottom. There's my mouse, you can see it. So again, my Wiimote now is the mouse cursor. Again, all I'm having right now is the Wiimote in my hand. We have the sensor bar up top that is a USB sensor bar, cheap on Amazon, and it's connected to our computer. So now again, pluses and minuses, biggest plus is that this is wireless. So, I mean, I could be not anywhere. You have to be, you know, a certain distance and a certain angle for it to really register, but at least like it's wireless. I don't have to worry about a USB cable being pulled and all that. A downside to this though is that apparently, I don't know if it's the game or I don't know if it's the Wiimote software, the touch mode, but after like, if I don't use it, like if I don't touch it for like about maybe 30 seconds, it actually disconnects. So I have to wind up taking the battery out and then putting it back in and just pressing power and then it reconnects. So it does happen sometimes. We are gonna do a live kind of thing to show you guys how it works, but that's really it. And it's cool because you could cut, you could actually go into the software and make these into like Xbox controller inputs. Like this is set to X and my back trigger is set to Y. Now, one thing I did want to do, which was like the main goal was to actually get like the gun case, like the actual handgun thing. Honestly, it's not worth it. There it is. It just, it just disconnected. I don't know if you heard it. It disconnected again. The led is still on. Um, but all you have to really basically do is that you just got to take the battery out and then put it back in. It happens kind of frequently. I'll be honest, I'm not going to bullshit. It does happen a little bit in game. It happens maybe once, once you get it to reconnect then it's all set. Um, but going back to the handgun thing, um, I like the idea with the handgun, but this software and some arcade games, like I couldn't get house of the dead one to recognize the off screen reload. So basically I programmed the a button as a reload. So now you don't really need a handgun kind of thing. This is actually pretty cool. Like honestly playing it like this, this is awesome. And yes, some games, even when you go into techno parrot, like, um, Oh, even, uh, what was I playing time crisis? You need the foot pedal. So I do have this button set to the foot pedal. So yes, I'm not going to be giving them the handgun kind of stuff, the, the actual, you know, molding, but this works pretty well. I didn't think this through. I have to now figure out how I could prop the camera up, get some over the shoulder shots, and I guess um, some point of view shots. Let's load up first thing because I do have Techno Parrot. I've been working with Techno Parrot literally for a week. It is kicking my butt. They keep doing updates and it keeps blocking games and all that. But I figure for the first game, I'm basically going to have to do the House of the Dead. So I do have the touch mode software set to turn on load up when the PC boots, but I do have it on the bottom. Um, so you could just kind of launch it like that. Um, so we do have the touch mode. There is zero Wiimotes connected because again, my Wiimote is off because I took the battery out. But for right now, let's launch the game. I'm going to keep you guys in my hand as we load up our first game again, which is House of the Dead 4. So again, I'm gonna load up uh, House of the Dead 4. I do have my controller on. I have the Wiimote uh, touch mode software on. And again, this thing about this whole techno parrot is like I configured inside controller setup. I configured like keyboard one to be player one start. Um, as you can see, like, see, this is the one headache I'm dealing with. Right now, my, it, it disconnected. My Wiimote disconnected. So now basically I'm just gonna come here. I'm gonna take the battery out. And I usually have the battery back on it. And now I have my controller back. And now I have like, it sets like trigger. As you can see, I just pressed trigger and we're actually in the game. So in the settings of Techno Parrot, I have it as button one on the keyboard, just like how I set all my MAM Arcade stuff up. But again, Techno Parrot, I just pulled the trigger. So as you can see, you can see my mouse. And yes, I do, I am in, in the habit of leaving the mouse cursor on because honestly the calibration on these things are not awful, but you have to really get used to it. So like my hand is kind of up right now. I'm kind of blaming where the USB um, bar is, but it's not too bad, here we go. So again, I'm using the, the button in the back. Reload is my A button. I'm not looking at the camera right now, I'm looking at the screen. So again, reload is my A. Again, it doesn't really recognize the off-screen click. I think the shake does work, but as you can see, I am right now. You can kind of see 
my um, mouse cursor and you can see basically where the guns are again reload is on my a in this game this screen is like the only thing that happens in this part so once you kill these zombies the screen will go back I'm back there see I had it really I should be pressing like you know button one like player one start but I'm just using the trigger so now we're back and the one thing I did notice that I can't throw grenades um, that's an issue with the ROM itself uh, I already looked it up on techno parrot forums and all that I can't throw a grenade so as you can see right now we are running house of the dead 4 You're probably getting a lot of opacity because it's getting my fingers but again using the trigger and it's pretty cool. I mean, that's House of the Dead 4. Once you're done, we escape out. That's what I always have set on the actual arcade cabinet. The escape key could work. Um, also, let's roll it up real quick, which I was having fun with, which was Luigi's Mansion. Um, again, I'm still learning Techno Parrot. It's some of these headaches that, uh, I mean, I've, I'm doing a lot of research on it. Um, some of these games, like I've noticed with like Luigi's Mansion, it needs like after the loading screen, it needs like either 30 seconds to actually like load up or recognize any gun inputs and also it needs to recognize the gun um on this i mean again sometimes i'm gonna i'm gonna sound stupid especially when i replay it on my own but this is like just stuff that i like to show people live like you know if i'm if i'm doing with it then you'll deal with it too so i have right now on this one here the player one start button is the number one button see so, like as of right now i'm pressing the one and I think it's doing it where I have to, it's trying to recognize a gun. Let me see. No, see, this is what I was dealing with. So I'm going to just reset my Wiimote just in case. It shouldn't really matter though. But I reset the Wiimote. Let's see. So I have this again set to number one. And there you go. See, like it had to, it, like I literally was pointing the Wiimote at the, the center bar and now I'm good to go. I th it's either that or it's like it needs 30 seconds, but I like to just show people live what's happening and all that. I'm going to do that again on the floor, like over the shoulder. So let's just see if I could find my X here. And no, so now I have to reset my Wiimote. I could kind of see the green on the bottom see the green mark so i'm going to reset my wii mode again and now we have it uh -uh. yeah so like everything needs like gun calibrations that's what i noticed each game needs its own cal gun calibration so if you kind of see like i'm either too close but like my wii mode hand is a little bit high i feel but at least we do have some luigi's mansion action again trigger button simple mode is the only way to play this game um unfortunately like some of these button stuff don't work in this game i don't know why um but apparently like there's a button to like shine the flashlight and there's a button to like vacuum um simple mode is the easiest way to go so right now it's saying to skip so if i press see if i press player one right now i can't skip it unless i'm pointing the the gun at like the the wii mode but i'm doing this with one hand so i'll show you what i mean next time but basically Again, literally playing Luigi's Mansion Arcade. It's a pretty fun game. I mean, the only thing I have to do now is to test out two players on this. So basically I'm shooting, I pull the trigger to shine and then I hold it again to suck up the ghost. So we're getting some coins right now. And that's the thing I learned, like once you start a game, you have to get into like the habit of where is the mouse pointer first. So it does take a minute to like, your own self need to adjust where this mouse pointer is. Um, and every game needs a mouse calibration. That's what I learned. Every game needs it. So right now, like I'm gonna be able to shoot the ghost and then we could vacuum. So it's like a double, you have to, you have to press it twice. So trigger and whoop. it's either you press it twice or once. So if you trigger and hold down, so I'm actually triggering and holding down. And it's cool. I mean, as you can see right now, we are working. It is functioning. The only thing I haven't tested yet is two players. I have not tested that. I want to put the camera down and show you what I'm talking about with this whole Wemo thing. All right, so I have to jerry rig up. Okay, I'm going to load up Luigi's Mansion. 
just to show you again like the, the headaches that I'm dealing with. Um, I mean, I don't say headaches in a bad way, but it's just, again, you know how I am. I want to make sure the customers, people see what they're getting. So, best thing is that sometimes I can go let it load. Um, again, the Wiimote to do sometimes disconnect. Um, and I noticed that I actually have a real Wiimote. I have like a real one and it wouldn't work with, with the touch mode software. So like right now, there is, it's set to free play. So keep that in mind. And then again, I have it set to button one, which is my like player one star button on my keyboard. See, and right now I can't do anything. But I think if I get the, no, this apparently then, and I'm gonna do it just in case, I'm gonna restart. So I'm gonna unplug and replug the remote. I'm connected, and now, no, I got nothing. Oh, see now I'm in. So again, I can't tell, but then as you see in that last video, like, and before I, you know, I restart again, it was almost at the same exact point. So I'm gonna try to do it where I'm not gonna block you guys. So now this I have to press one. And as you see, my thing's off screen, but I'm holding it. If I bring the, the cursor back, if I can find it, Right there. Ah, see? I literally just did it. I recognized my cursor and then I pressed one and then it worked. So, I, again, I, for this game specifically, it looks like it needs like to recognize the gun. Keep in mind though, this is on the Fortnite inch screen. So I think it's gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, here, let's do it again. So, nothing right now, but if I get it to recognize the Wiimote, I might be able to get it. Down here, up here. No, I fell myself. <laughs> we'll watch the cutscene for now. See, so here we go again. This is the dilemma that we're dealing with. So I think, again, as you can see right now, my remote is doing it. I'm going to reconnect. And now we have it. See? I'm going to show my on screen. So again, that's definitely the one thing I noticed. I don't know if it's the remote. Um, I don't know if it's the software related thing. Um, I don't know if I do get Mayflash. If I, if I did get the Mayflash bar, would it work better? I don't know, but I do notice that. But right now you can see I'm gonna basically be able to play this out. And sometimes you can hear it on the windows and like you can hear it disconnect. So right now I could actually press start, but it's just too far away. There's no point in going to that extent. So again, as you can see right now, I kind of got into the habit, especially when I was playing uh, Time Crisis, of holding the Wii with two hands. And again, you could go right hand, you could go left hand. And it's pretty cool, like, honestly, like, this is enjoyable. I'll be honest, this is cool. I don't know how I look. Do I look silly? I don't know. But the video also said somebody suggested that you might, I might be too close, you should probably move back a little bit, which is another reason why it's a plus with these wireless ones. I mean, you could go anywhere, not too far, though but you could go anywhere and make it work. So we'll escape out and we're back. So since we're on Techno Parrot, I uh, figured we'll do one more shooting game, which is Transformers. Um, again, another game that you can find in like Dave and Busters and the current arcade and all that. So as you can see, I could see my mouse cursor here. Again, I'm, it's something with Techno Parrot where like the credit button, like I usually set it to button five, it's button nine. So I, I'm still trying to figure it out, but there are people saying that like some of the things don't, you know, readjust in controller settings. Um, so this is here. I basically did it on the Wii mode. So basically it's the B button and the A button most of the time. And it's all about like getting the right angle. If I move back a little bit, so you try right below. So this here, like I can see right now, my remote is spazzing out, so I have to reload. Reconnected, and now we're It's just us now. We've had it. 
there's like no reload button on this. But again, you just gotta get your body into like where it's at. So you can see like my mouse and my crosshair. It's a little off. I didn't recalibrate this game specifically because there is no way to recalibrate it. So you just gotta kinda adjust your body to it. I mean, in, in the game it does kind of adjust. You can see like my red crosshair is gonna line up. It just sucks because your eye might be looking at a mouse cursor. Oh, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, you guys think we are using Wiimotes, we're playing modern games right now. Is it perfect? No. Is it playable? Yes. Is it enjoyable? Yes. Once you get past the first Wiimote, like, resyncing, meaning taking the batteries out, it's actually pretty fun. Now this here, I can't tell what this button is. I think it's either the trigger or the A button. I'm just gonna press both. I just press both to be safe. I think it was the trigger. It's not over yet. You will die here today. You have no way to So there you have it, I mean, it's pretty cool. Again, Techno Parrot Wiimote. All right, so now on this one, uh, we will load up a classic, which a lot of people do like, and that is House of the Dead. Quick load times, again, this computer's booting up fast. I'm gonna just reset the remote now. Um, again, I'm gonna take the battery out. Connected, button one. And as you can see on the red, you can see my crosshair. I skipped it. And on this game, I have reload set to A. So this really is a game that should be off screen reload. It's such a nightmare to get that to work. So I have it set to a button. It's so much easier. It's one game, like I was able to do it up top. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm into the habit of holding the gun. Like a real gun, I hold my hand my wrist. See now my control is out. Like I can't do anything, I'm out. So I'm gonna reload it. Kinda sucks that this happens, but now we're back. Crosshair is there, I can see it. We're back. Rogan, it's you! Rogan! Turn my mouse again. Second time now. So there's like one or two games that don't really work that well. This is Area 51. Uh, this is a game that requires the off-screen shot. Um, again, I'm only talking experience with this. This is my first ever kind of handgun thing I've ever done. I don't know how the aim tracks work, and I don't know too much you know, into this. Um, but this is kind of like the one thing where I, I noticed like if you wanted to play this, the reload 
It was like you just gotta pray that you get something. You know what I mean? And I'm not really a fan of that. Unfortunately, on this game, you can't you can't set a reload button for this. I'll do some more research. Maybe I can. Maybe it's something inside of the touch mode that I could do. But as you can see right now, I mean, unless you do the left. No. I mean, it's, it's a hit or miss. You literally see me right now praying to hit this. Instead of I gotta say all the games work on this perfectly. It looks like the left and the right shot will work better. Some games there is going up works better than going left or right, but I mean as you can see. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. Some of the games aren't like perfect. I wouldn't enjoy this one unless I figure out how to do a reload. But again, I did aim track and I looked at it and there's a lot of like in, like um, there is actually a way, let me see. Yeah, see, you could actually adjust. I could actually adjust my crosshairs here, which I already did this for all the games. So as you can see, my crosshair is just a little bit off on the red crosshair. So even me, you know, going out. And also somebody did say playing this in full screen is also giving me that reload issue. Um, it just annoys me because like I said, as you can see right here in MAM, I can't get past that point. Like I can't. But as a computer mouse, I'm able to get there. So as you can see like up is a little bit better. Let's just see real quick. I don't know if put bezels on let's just see what do we got standard four by three three by two and if i put the bezel on oh man uh, man no it, it's the same thing even standard four by three it's a full screen so again like i said me right now i can't get past that i i just i can't there's no way of me even going off to that side but again if i do tab do i see my mouse see my mouse i'm up there my mouse is like there. So like I said, running the mouse is beautiful. It's perfect on this. It's just, as you can see, my mouse is all the way up there, but MAM is a, uh, let's do another classic. We're gonna load up Time Crisis 1 on this, running MAM emulator on this. There's been a kidnapping. It's so what's cool about this game is that it's another reason why you don't really need a handgun kind of grip is that this game uses the foot pedal. I just heard the Wii mode disconnect, so we're gonna reconnect it. And basically you need the foot pedal to duck, so we have the A button set for the foot pedal. So it's always good to kind of just wiggle the Wii mode around, make sure you have a good connection on it. And now we're pretty good. Action. Oh, I like the old hook. Kate's crosshair, that blue crosshair you see, I wasn't a fan of it, but you do need it. Uh, no matter what, you do need it. Because if I didn't have it, I would be lost as to if, if I even know if the Wii mode is connected and all that. So it is a, a needed thing. It's cool, it's cool. Again, it's enjoyable. The only downside is honestly the Wii mode kind of disconnecting. But as you can see right now, I reconnected it. I don't want to jinx it, but. Oh. <laughs> I 
I'm on the right end, you can do the left end. It's cool, it's cool. I definitely enjoy it. The one downside is this whole Wiimote thing, disconnecting. But honestly, I'm going pretty good right now. Boom, that's it, done. Awesome stuff, again, the Wiimote, Eugene's Arcade. And it just disconnected. <laughs>